And now it's time for the children's message. So it's a great time to call the children or youth who may be nearby, if they're not already watching, to come over and watch uh, this video uh, with you. Hey guys, I'm Pastor David, one of the associate pastors here at Wrightsville United Methodist Church, and I'm going to be sharing the children's message with you today. Have you ever been to a parade where there were people standing in front of you who were taller than you, and you're stretching and trying to look over their heads or over their shoulders and trying to, to see? It's not much fun to go to a parade where you can't see um, the marching bands, the floats, uh, the fire truck, if that particular parade has a fire truck like most Christmas parades have. And when that happens, uh, one thing that would be helpful for you to have would be a periscope. Do you know what a periscope is? That's the thing that a submarine uses. So the submarine is underwater, and they have this pipe that goes up above the water, and they can look into that pipe where there's a mirror, and up at the top there's another mirror, and they can see what is above the water. So, yeah, if you're in that situation and you have a periscope, then you can actually see over their heads. Well, today's Bible story is about a man who went to a parade, but he couldn't see above the crowd because he was a short guy. And unfortunately, back in Bible times, they didn't have periscopes because they hadn't been invented yet. Um, the main attraction in this particular parade in our Bible story today is Jesus. It's when He came to the city of, of Jericho. And He had become quite famous because He had been performing a lot of miracles. And so people everywhere were talking about this guy Jesus and the great things he was doing. And one of the people in the crowd was this guy. His name was Zacchaeus. And he was so short, he couldn't see above the people in front of him. And so, and, and he didn't have a periscope, so he actually went and climbed up in a tree so he could see the parade, and he, he really wanted to see Jesus. Well, you can imagine his surprise when Jesus came to the place where Zacchaeus was up a tree and all of a sudden Jesus stopped and he looked up at Zacchaeus and he said, Zac, you better come down out of that tree because I'm going to your house today. <laughs> Can you imagine how surprised uh, Zacchaeus was? Well, he wasn't the only one surprised. So were all the people around who heard that because you see Zacchaeus was not popular. In fact, he was disliked. In fact, he was probably the most hated person in town because he was a tax collector. But even beyond that, he had a habit, and everybody knew about it, of charging more than the taxes that were due, and then he was pocketing the difference. And he got rich while the poor people were, were paying more than they should have in their taxes. And the people that were there, they couldn't believe it. They could not believe that Jesus was going to the home of a person like that. <laughs> that sounds really far out, doesn't it? Well, Zacchaeus knew that he had cheated people. And when Jesus arrived at his house, he admitted that. He confessed that he had done that, and he promised to give half of all of his possessions to the poor. And he said, if I've cheated anybody, I will pay them back four times over. So in other words, if he cheated somebody out of a quarter, he was going to give them a dollar back. Uh, because Jesus, uh, because Zacchaeus rather, was sorry for what he had done, and he confessed his sin, he admitted it, Jesus forgave him. And Jesus said, today salvation has come to this house. Yes, yeah, Zacchaeus was a little man with a big problem, but he met Jesus and his life was changed forever. And when you meet Jesus, Jesus will change your life too. Let us pray. Lord God, when 
we meet Jesus, we see how in the scriptures it's a life-changing experience. Help us to meet Jesus and to put our faith and trust in Him. We thank you for your love and forgiveness for us. And we thank you for the children and youth who are watching this video today, for all those in our church and community and their families. Bless them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.